Welcome back to another episode of Budget Photography. Now, unfortunately, this week I got sent away with work, so I'm not at home. I haven't got my camera equipment with me, but I still need to make a video. So this week, I thought what I'd do is show you my editing process. Now, as you can see, um, this picture here is what I took just the other week down in Forest Farm of uh, some wild rabbits running around. I just thought I'll just go through the editing process and uh, you know, it's not a tutorial, it's just what I do, so you can do what you want, but you can just watch as I go through the editing process. Right, so, yeah, there's a shot on the Canon 60D. You can see my uh, settings I got there on the screen. I'm just going to put that up. Now I'm using Lightroom. That's where I do a uh, majority of my editing. I've also got uh, Photoshop as well. Right, so what I'm going to do first of all is crop this, make it fill frame a bit more. And the question is, do I want to keep that other rabbit in there? I think I might go portrait mode as well. Let's bring it in a little bit more. I don't want to crop too much. Maybe I think that's alright. Down like that. It's done there. Right, there we go. Right, what we're going to do now is try and make this image pop a little bit more. So I'm going to move it both up a little bit. It was quite a dull day. Let's go back. Well I know a lot of people put a lot of contrast on it, but. I just, just like to have a little bit of contrast. Let me get highlights, remove all that down. So it's mainly the chest of the rabbit here. If I hold on Alt, so I haven't really got any issues with highlights. I'm going to complex this a little bit. Shadows, I how much of the shadows I'm going to bring out. You see, if I do that, it really brings out the eyes, but you're losing the contrast and the details in the rabbit there. So I'm going to bring my shadows in pretty much. I'm filming on 50%. White. If you get too much, it's going to look like that. A little, again, it's going to look a bit flat. It's going to have a little bit of white in there. Flat. Don't like to do that at all. Go from there. Don't want to be flat where it was. It's fine there. Now I did like the eyes just now when I moved it. The shadows too. So I'm going to do a come up here. Radio filter. And just over the eye. Oops. And then over the eye. Now I can do is just edit what's inside that circle. I just go to that and work it. Okay, See what I'm doing now. I do dark there. I can do that over there. I do too much. So there's a little bit more exposure there. Alright. Okay. 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 Now if I move down to clarity, a lot of people like to boost the clarity, but I do not like the look of that, it looks too harsh, too rough. I just like to do a just a little bit, maybe about 10-15%. Same with the vibrance, we don't want it too much, it's big, maybe too little. 
think the mood is going for really, so I'm trying to get the more natural kind of look. Not too much, so I don't want to be kind of exaggerated too much. Yeah, it's going too much. A little bit of saturation in there. Alright, now the other thing I like to do is go back in detail. Sharpen the image just a little bit. I also like to boost the luminance to reduce the noise with a smooth looking image. And lens correction. I don't want to transform the image at all. The effects. Now, people do like to play around with these. Like to the vignetting, to get a black, to get that way. Or so white, to that way. But I don't like to do that much at all. Green, to get the old film kind of look. Do that to zero. The haze. Almost a contrast uh, sort of slider. Now, uh, this closing name, Behave, is quite helpful when you've got like, a really hazy kind of shot. Perhaps get rid of the haze, or if you want to create haze, you can use that. So, there it is, a Don for this rapid shot transformed it completely into what you see there on the left hand side. I boost the color, boost the contrast a little bit, the highlights and the blacks just so you get that more visually stunning image. I can tell it's quite a dark day when I, felt, uh, when I shot this, but now I've made it up. You know, it's kind of like sunny, overcast kind of day. It makes the picture really, really pop. So yeah, like I said, this is gonna be a quick video um, of my editing process. I don't put a huge amount of time and effort into editing my pictures, but just move the sparse a little bit up and down until I get the result I'm, not, I'm happy with. Again, you can play around with it, do anything you want. I can make this black and white, give it like a moody kind of uh, feel. I can play around with the colors. I can appear at the green. You can really change the atmosphere of the picture by just moving the sliders down. But like I said, I like to go for a natural uh, looking picture, um, which is more pleasing to look at with the eyes. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of these tutorials, uh, let me know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. And I'll try and do more videos just like this one for you guys. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.